Yo, what's up? Alright, so this video is for my fellow GZ250 owners, riders. Um, it's a follow-up to a video that was posted uh, kind of telling people that they can replace their indicator lights with a two LED hookup. Uh, I'm sharing my experience with it and I'm hopefully going to post a little bit of, uh, you know, show you guys how I'm doing it. Because I tried it and it worked, but my wires and whatnot were too long, so I had to, uh, I had to scale back, and now I'm gonna show what I did. Okay, cool. All right, so what I've got here is my failed attempt at uh, putting this together. The things you were are important here: are the two LEDs, one kilo ohm resistor, and what is unique to what I'm showing here is uh, that's actually the bulb that came with the Suzuki GZ250 the original indica indicator bulb I unplugged it because it had died uh, I smashed it and then I'm using the two um, the two points inside the bulb to uh, connect to the uh, connect to the bike because it's not easy to just stick two random leads in there. So I use uh, that bulb, that crushed bulb as my interface. So what I need to do, and I'll show you how to you know, wire this correctly, what I need to do is take this part, uh, unsolder it and whatnot, and make all the leads and whatnot significantly shorter. Uh, because when I went to fit into the rubber piece, it was too long, and this little sucker when I went to go put it on top it just wouldn't go on because it was too too big wouldn't fit okay all right so while my soldering iron is heating up I'm gonna get a quick shot so you can see the uh, process of taking this off and whatnot this is the neutral indicator light that is oh let me get it upright neutral indicator light that's working normal this I've already taken out now this is I'm gonna kinda try and replicate this again normally this little rubber stopper here that I'm pulling through would be in the green plug would be the regular bulb would be in there already uh, deep in there and that green uh, you know the green indicator that's the, the lens that sits over it is going to be on top of that rubber. What you're going to need to do to take off the um, the indicator, the same one as that one, is get something like, you know, a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and kind of pry under it a bit. Um, might even be able to do it with your nail, but what you might find is that it's too tight. So what you'll have to do is over here, okay, this is really hard to see. And I suck with the camera. See this little rubber shenanigans that sits under there? You're gonna push it up. You can push it up, you know, as much as you can. That'll loosen up the lens so that you can take it out. You're gonna take that lens out and then you're gonna be able to pull it through. So you can take it out. And uh, just to make things easier on yourself as you're working with it, you can work it over to the other side see that just kind of pushing it through there and pulling it a bit I have a little bit more room to work with when I've got it on this side peeling back this rubber piece is gonna be a real pain in the ass I promise you are not going to be happy with doing this um, personally don't do this to yours unless you don't care but this little black rubber stuff over here doesn't really do anything uh, chopped it off because it made my job a little bit easier but you see the two connectors in there you're gonna the bulb is gonna be in there you're gonna take the bulb out you're gonna crush the bulb if you're doing it the way I'm doing it or you could come up with your own connectors for it but I suggest crushing a bulb and uh, connecting the LEDs to it uh, and then you know later on I'll show you how to reconnect this 
for now. Let's just leave that alone. And hopefully my soldering iron is heat up. So my soldering iron heat up. I got the parts broken up again, uh, cut them down, and now I'm gonna show you the parts individually before I put them back together again. Uh, all right, so these are the uh, components you're gonna be needing. Um, before you even consider doing this, you should probably have a soldering iron. If you don't, and you don't know how to solder, then don't do this. Just go to a shop and get a bulb replaced, you know, get the actual bulb, because this is not for you. Um, what I've got here is two LEDs. Now, uh, what's important about putting these, I, as you can see, I've really cut down the LED wires kind of short um, and got them twisted up together. And what's important about putting these LED to get LEDs together is that they're parallel so that both, you know, both wires of both uh, LEDs are touching each other like so. Uh, and that the positive and negative ends are opposite each other. So the positive end should be touching the negative end of one side and same for the other. If you're an idiot like me and you cut off before you can note whether they were positive or negative, um, if you can see inside the LED there's the short end and then the long end that kind of sticks out, kind of juts out like a hockey stick sort of. Uh, the negative end is the hockey stick end, the positive end is the shorter end. You can just kind of make them face the opposite of each other, wire those together, make sure they're short like this. Um, don't go too short. This might actually be a problem for me later because they need to be kind of next to each other. They can't be too wide. See, that? That's this might be a little too wide for me. It needs to be maybe a little bit more narrow, but we'll We'll come across that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Another component you'll need is this uh, this crushed bulb. All right, this is what I got after I put the bulb under a little towel, uh, crushed that bulb, and what's left is the ends that were connected to the motorcycle, and uh, the on the other side. This is where you're going to be connecting one end and the other end of the setup, right? So what's going to happen is, oh, and then you need your uh, one kilo ohm resistor. Um, yeah, one kilo ohm resistor, figure it out. Uh, and of course, you know, your bulb, indicator, cover. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to end up connecting the resistor to one end of the LEDs, um, soldering that together into place, and what will happen from there, and let's see if I can just kind of hold this into place for now. I can't, it's too short, and I've got big stubby fingers. Okay, hopefully that says enough, right? What you're going to end up doing is you're going to wire um, the resistor end to one end of the bulb so it'll connect like so and then the other end like so. Once you got that soldered together hopefully you should have a pretty short um, little connection here uh, and then this is gonna go back into your bike back into the GZ250. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder these together and um, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, quick update. Um, I took heed to my own advice and put the LEDs a little bit more side by side together uh, so that I don't run into the problem of it not fitting because I'd be really upset if that happened. I uh, got a lot of background noise, so I'm sorry for that, but check it out. All right, I've got two leads coming out from the, uh, you know, the LEDs being connected, one end connected to the resistor, and then both ends are going to attach to each end of this uh, um, of this bulb connector. Doesn't matter which way 
I'll explain why later. Bye. Alright. This is my finished product. Focus, focus, focus. Focus. This is... My camera sucks. Okay. Finished product. It's all wired up. So when I plug this in, it will work, but hopefully I can fucking get it plugged in right. That's the hard part. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm going to demonstrate it working before I get it back in place because this is actually the hard part. Bike is on. Go ahead and put my signal on. See it blinking. Check it out. I'm going to turn the other direction. You can see my... Uh, Uh, other blinkers on cool all right so you see what's going on here is that the reason why there's two LEDs is the way that this setup works is that it's sending current in either one of two directions through that thing and uh, if you only had one LED in there if you went one direction it would light up and when you went the other direction it would not light up so you gotta have two LEDs so this is it working and uh, now I've got two get it back into place which means me pushing that down a little bit pushing that in there and hopefully it doesn't mess things up too bad so let's get to it alright so this is it back in place now all I gotta put is the green lens back over it and hopefully it won't stop working and you might be thinking oh well why don't you just leave it there I don't know because I'm a perfectionist and I have to do this alright let's get it Okay, so when you put it put the uh, lens back in, make sure you're doing it like this. Push the uh, the rubber casing all the way through, and then you're gonna put the cap on. Uh, and the cap's on, and it's working. I'm gonna push it back through. And you're gonna have to really push down on that, cause uh. It's a bit temperamental, but uh, I'm going to put the bike in neutral so you can see the brightness comparison. Okay, so you got a little bit of a different tint. It's not quite as bright, but it gets the job done. You can definitely see it. it's it's really bright. Uh, you. Make sure I'll uh, I'll give you the specs on the LCDs uh, LEDs I used, so that you make sure that you get uh, LEDs that are as bright as the ones I got. If you get some some LEDs that are not bright enough, it's not going to come in very useful. So as you can see, it works. Adios.